Hi everyone, my name is Karen and I'm the Humane Educator at the Animal Welfare League of Arlington. I hope you are enjoying some time at home and enjoying spending time with your family. Today I want to show you how to create a twisting puzzle feeder for your furry friend. Um, as a puzzle feeder is a great form of en cognitive enrichment, which encourages the, um, the mind to exercise. So it's a fun toy for the animals to uh, find food and play with. So before we begin, I want to go over the materials that you'll need today to make this tube pup, uh, the twisting puzzle feeder. So of course we'll need a toilet paper tube, which I'm sure you have enough of. We need one Sharpie or a pen. We need some scissors, uh, tape or duct tape. Today I'll be using duct tape. And then a long stick-like object. So today I have a straw, but you can use like a chopstick or even like a skewer. Um, just ask your parent or guardian uh, where they might have something like that. Or even a stick from outside would work actually. And a piece of paper. So um, now that you have everything, uh, we are going to begin making a twisting puzzle feeder. So the first thing I'm gonna have you guys do is take your piece of paper and your tube feeder and you're gonna put that tube right on top of the piece of paper and you are gonna trace around uh, to make two circles on your paper. So I'm gonna do that really quickly. So after you have your two circles, what you're gonna do is uh, cut them out really quick. So now that you have your two circles, what you are going to do is try to find the very center of them and you're gonna make a dot or an X mark uh, using your pen or Sharpie on both. Then, <laughs> sorry, lost this drop. Then what you're going to do is you're going to use the scissors and you are going to try to make a circle um, by folding the uh, circle in half, your circle in half, you are going to try to cut a little uh, diamond shape. To make a hole and then what you're going to do is try to widen that hole uh, with your scissors to make a nice big circle that your straw will go through like such so you'll do that with the second one now too so fold in half then cut one direction one diagonal and cut another diagonal and that should make a nice square that you can round out I have my two circles, I'm just going to set them aside and we'll use them for later. So next what you're going to grab is your toilet paper tube. And what you're going to do is take your Sharpie or pen and you are going to make uh, some X mark spots. Uh, usually roughly about 14 holes, uh, 14 X's that you'll make into holes is probably the best. I find the best um, method to do is one on the top, one on the bottom, as such and then kind of do middle, maybe do one or two every so often. So you can see I'm making one, two to one to one, two. You don't want too many holes. Um, the more holes that you make will make the puzzle a lot more easier. So depending on the difficulty you want for your animal, you can choose how many holes you want. I'm gonna make it a little bit more difficult for my pup. Um, so I didn't do as many holes. As you can see, this one has a lot more. It was a lot easier for her um, to play with and the, toy, or the treats would fall through a little bit more frequently. So now what you're gonna do is not folding totally flat. You can still uh, bend it every so often, or bend it a good amount. You're gonna bend to get to, those, uh, to the center of each X or dot. And you're gonna do the same thing that you did with the circles, the end circles, is you're gonna just make some uh, diagonal cuts that will make squares almost so I'm going at it kind of as a at a angle so one slot two slot and as you can see that'll be my hole so I'm going to do that for all the X marks uh, that I have on my tube there so now you can see I have holes along my whole tube um, which treats or kibble can uh, fall out of so next what we're going to do is we are going to close off each end with our pieces of paper. So what you're going to do is, since they're measured out, you're just going to place one on the top and use uh, duct tape or tape. I have both. 
I'm gonna use duct tape. I find that it makes it uh, the seal a little bit better. So I'm just going to tape um, the end of the tube a few times to make sure that it stays on. Sometimes you have to add a little extra tape to make sure that it's adhesive on the edges. And you're just gonna do that again for the other side. There, so now you have both ends on your tube. So now you have mostly the puzzle feeder done. So now all you have to do is put the straw through the entire thing. And then what you're gonna do is put some of your dogs or cats favorite foods. Um, this is one of my dog's favorites. And so I'm just going to stuff them uh, into one of the holes. I'm going to have a little bit. Um, and then it's good to know that the size of your holes should depend on your kibble size. So if you have bigger kibbles, um, I highly advise uh, doing a little bigger holes. Um, if you have really small stuff, obviously don't make the holes too big or else they'll just kind of fall through. So as you can see, I have some of them in. Um, and my dog will use his nose her nose um, to turn it. So you can stop here and just play with your dog if you want and hold the straw or the skewer or the stick um, with your tube feeder and just have them play with it to watch them. Or if you want to continue on with the video, we can make a stand. So I'm gonna get that. So now that we're gonna make a uh, stand for our twister feeder that you just created, um, the best thing to do is get a small box. I have one right here. And first thing you should do is just cut off all those flaps. If you need help from a adult, please ask. Um, cardboard can be a little hard to cut. So next, what you're gonna do is take that Sharpie or pen and on the long sides, so this is a short side, on the long sides of the box, what you're gonna do is make a L shape um, and then leave, so an L, so L, L. From the top of the box, down to about when there's like an inch left on the box and then go over. So L, L. And what you're gonna do is do that on both sides of the box. And then what you're gonna do is following your bottom of your L, you're gonna draw all the way across to make a bridge on both sides. Next, what you're gonna do is gonna cut these out. Um, you're gonna just follow your lines and cut all the way around your box. So now you can see we have a um, little box that has two flaps that are able to stand up. So now uh, what we want is for the puzzle feeder to um, stand in between it. So it's just gonna be like this. So what I find that is best, if you have a longer stick or like a chopstick right here, um, I find that you can either make two holes that you can stick um, through each side, that's fine. I find that kind of hard. Um, to bend the uh, cardboard to make the hole. So what I find that is better is to make little L's on the top that you'll drop in and then kind of lock your straw in this section. So I'm gonna draw them really quick so you can see. So as you can see, that L's right there and you're gonna make sure it follows on the same side, going the or same direction. C, L, L. So this is how I do it, and then I'm gonna cut these L's out. So I got one cut out, so you can see that the straw will drop down, and then once it goes over, then it's hard for your dog to uh, mess it up and just pull it right out. The longer the L, the better. Now we have the two sides, L is going the same way, so you can kind of see through them. And what you're gonna do is put the straw or um, the toothpick in, and they're just gonna sit, just like that. Um, so my straw is actually too small, so I'm gonna actually switch it to my chopstick. So you can see the chopstick is a little longer, drops in, you push it forward, 
And then you have your pencil feeder. Whoops. <laughs> I know it's not perfect and you can add additions so that nothing moves. So if you want, you can add like clothespins or tape uh, to prevent your stick from moving. And then in addition, if you don't want this to slide back and forth, you can add an, like a piece of tape or clothespins to each side so that it just spins. But this way, um, I'm gonna have my dog go play with it now. Uh, you can see uh, all that they have to do is use their nose or paw and turn it over. And that's a uh, Lee Twister puzzle feeder. So let's go see it in action. <laughs> 